Sometimes when pouring silver, it doesn't go so well and you get these mistakes. But sometimes those mistakes are pretty damn beautiful. In today's video, we're gonna showcase this wonderful piece, talk a little bit about what's coming up in the next couple of weeks with regards to poured silver and how you can get hold and own this very special error piece of silver. Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here. Thank you for joining me for today's video, which is primarily going to be a cool look at some pieces that have come back from the Edinburgh Assay Office. But before I talk about this and showcase them, I do want to address the elephant in the room very briefly that there are some turbulent times right now in the silver price markets. And I've been getting a lot of comments and questions and emails directly to me about buying silver. Is now the right time to buy? Is this the big pullback everyone's talking about? And I will be addressing that whole topic in its own right on Wednesday next week. So subscribe if you wanna see that video uh, in its entirety. I think it's gonna be an interesting take on some real world look at silver because it's not necessarily the back the truck up time that everybody thinks and should be. You know, I wanna get more into it next Wednesday basically was what I'm trying to say. Also next week, we've got some really cool videos, including some exclusive content uh, supplied for by the Royal Mint. Really exciting stuff. In fact, one of the videos should be going out tomorrow, in theory. It's what I understand anyway. So really, really cool stuff. Definitely ones not to miss, so hit that subscribe button. So in the meantime, today we're gonna to be looking at some poured silver. This is fresh back from the Edinburgh office. It came through earlier this week, and this is what I do to package them up. This one, although I had some other pieces in it, that's why they're all loose in there, but generally speaking, I'll wrap them up nice and tight so they don't roll around and get damaged. But this is the next kind of big thing that I'm working on at the moment, which is these three ounce silver forum rounds. Now we've just completed and posted out the vast majority of the 100 gram silver forum bars. And that's the kind of flagship huge project that we do each year. And I'm very happy to say that we've managed to commit to the three ounce rounds again. You know, there's a lot of things up there in the world right now that um, affect small businesses, including uh, COVID and all of that jazz, but also just general trading kind of restrictions and sizes of businesses for us. It's a, it's a factor to play. And we have been able to commit to creating these three ounce rounds for 2020, which is fantastic because they are, in my opinion, one of the best pieces that we make. They're absolutely gorgeous and I love them. So it's really good to have them. They will be probably released in November. And it's along those lines of um, sort of trading limits in terms of turnover. So for those who are not in the UK and not really familiar with what uh, I'm talking about, it basically means that we have limits on how much we can sell as a business before we have to register for sales taxes. And I don't want to go anywhere close to that threshold because then I would be potentially forced to charge sales tax on all of these, which makes it a lot more expensive for everybody involved and also a hell of a lot of admin for me. And it's an absolute pig and nightmare. So November is the time for them, but I thought it would be nice for you to see kind of a fresh update on them because they've literally just come back. Oh, we've got one more box that I haven't done. Straight back from the Edinburgh Assay Office. And um, yeah, we've just had the hallmarks put on there, which is always good to have a submission go through all nice and clean, come back nice and quickly. Uh, I have to say, big kudos to the Edinburgh Assay Office. I don't know if anybody up there actually actively watches my videos on a regular basis, but you guys have been doing a fantastic job throughout this whole uh, situation, this whole COVID land world thing that we're all going through. So a big thank you to you guys for all the help. Now, there's another little thing here on the table, which you may have seen at the start of the video, which I haven't talked about, and that is this really cool mistake round that I made. Um, it's kind of tied to these three ounce rounds, which is why I've got them all in the same video and it's what I call the rising ripple round. Now, all of these three ounce rounds are, as you can see, three ounce. That's the whole point about them. They are three ounce minimum. And so when I'm pouring by eye, I do it completely by eye to make sure that we get exactly three ounces or more. We don't do anything less than three ounces. This one came out less than three ounces, but it also had this really weird imperfection. And it happened because the blowtorch that I use on my silver, as it's pouring to create the ripples, it was quite a overzealous blowtorch, let's put it like that. The power, the pressure was really high and it pushed the silver up as it was cooling. And you can see that this has caused a real huge rise in the silver. And what's really amazing about it is that there's a cooling ripple pool in there as well. And there's just some massively cool right, uh, micro ripples there. 
Really love it. And I am, whole, sorry, this is hallmarked. I've already hallmarked it. And I am currently auctioning this off on the Silver Forum. I'll put a link to it down in the uh, description box. So head on over to the Silver Forum's auction listing for this item and you can place your bids. You do have to register as a member on the Silver Forum. You don't have to be a paid member to bid, but all of the information on how to uh, do that is over on the Silver Forum. I think it's a pretty cool, unique piece. I have actually tried to replicate it and it's very difficult to do so. And some of the ones that we replicated were just really not very pretty or didn't have any kind of, you know, depth to the, the rising ripple that came out of it. So it's a pretty cool, unique piece and uh, I like it a lot and I think that someone out there will like it too. So it's one of those kind of interesting things where it's it was a mistake, happy mistake, and something that's really cool. So if you like it and you want to have it, auction listing down in the description box over on the Silver Forum. Two mil hallmark on the side profile of the round, 2.76 ounces Troy with a little leaf there. Really, really like it. So let me know your thoughts on that. So that's kind of the nuts and bolts of today's video, just to showcase you that we are working on these. We've also got this one kilo thing here on the table, and I was hoping to share with you guys a video on some more of these. We've made four more kilo Rolo rounds for a customer. Um, but unfortunately, the Royal Mail decided today of all days would be the day that they did not deliver the parcel, and I have to get this filmed today, otherwise there's no video. So um, that will probably be out next weekend, I, I would think. It'll be a kind of pouring compilation style video of all of these four extra Ripple Rolo, well, not even Ripples, hammered Rolo rounds uh, being cast, and it's a pretty cool, pretty dramatic process to watch. So uh, that's what we've got in store for the next couple of weeks. In terms of the videos, as I said, next week, we have got some really exciting stuff to share, exclusive content from the Royal Mint, and we've done one video like that already. Definitely, definitely one not to miss uh, coming in theory tomorrow. I, I can't 100% commit to that because it's uh, out of my control and it's exactly when that video goes live. But there's, whew, there's a pretty cool piece coming out tomorrow. That's all I can say. So definitely stick around for that. And we've also got another incredibly cool exclusive lined up with the Royal Mint. I cannot say anything more than that. But let me tell you, it's going to knock your socks off. It really is. Like the, the, What I have seen is gonna knock your socks off so yeah there's the stuff happening there's stuff gonna happen let's put it like that so it's gonna be a fun couple of weeks ahead otherwise uh, that's basically it for me today uh, there will be a video tomorrow as I said hopefully from uh, this Raw Mint exclusive and then Wednesday's video is gonna be all about the silver price you know I, I want to talk about that in its own right in its own entirety um, to give my thoughts, opinions, and tips and tricks and hints of how to cope and deal with those kind of things. If any of you do have any specific concerns or questions around that topic, it's kind of good for me to grab that information now so I can uh, look to address it. I will probably be looking to film that video on Tuesday next week. I always try and film a day in advance at least. So if anybody does have any questions around that topic of the silver market, silver prices, and how to cope with things moving up and down and left and right and center and you know dealing with the emotions of it or anything like that then let me know put your comments and questions down in this video and I'll try and incorporate some of them into that video for next week so that's it from me today if you guys have enjoyed this video you know what to do hit that thumbs up button and share it around on your social media and if you're one of the type of people that like to watch all my videos right the way through to the end and you're a member of the BYB Rambling Society a big thumbs up and thank you to you for all of your support not only in the memberships page but also for watching our videos to the end have a fantastic weekend and week ahead and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching and please make sure that you like share comment and subscribe for more